Good evening, everybody. Here in the basement tonight, we have Liz and we have Terry. This is Hedgehog Reality. Hi, Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for having yeah, us. Lovely, Not at all. Yeah. And thank you so much for stepping in at the last moment. You sort of bailed Pleasure. us out because of a uh, because of a cancellation. So we're very grateful to you. Thank you. And how have you found your evening so far in uh, in yes, front of our enjoyable. virtual yes. crowd? Great place, nice people. <laughs> lovely. Couldn't want better. So. Um, a lot of the bands we've had on here have basically formed probably just after lockdown finished, but you've been uh, you've been around a little longer than that. Why don't you yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, how you how you got together and uh, and how you came up with this uh, this act? Um, well, our local social club had a, a we, we was arranging a, a comedy night and we felt it needed some music, so I'd been messing about with the guitar a little bit and I hadn't. You hadn't. No, you, <laughs> So there was three of us. I just played guitar, and we were singing some silly songs. That they I, were silly that songs as well, like smelly onions and things. Like and then, that. and then we, <laughs> okay. you, yeah. you, you come off the stage, you just go. I, going, I oh, love it. Man. I want to do some more. So we decided <laughs> to stick together. So it's just a one-off thing to yeah, start. That it was, was yeah. 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 And then uh, you picked up the bass, didn't you? And I went whilst... to this went to this lady's house. who was selling this bass that was falling. Well, it was a bit bashed about for thirty quid. So I got that. Oh, okay. It's really heavy. It's still hanging on the wall. And you bought Big some really nice wood. strings that cost twice as much yeah, as the guitar. <laughs> twice as the guitar. <laughs> yeah, but no, I loved it. It's great. Yeah. And then uh, Martin, he... Um, yeah, our friend. He played guitar and we kind of became a 80s covers band called Fat Nappy. But then he got <laughs> bored, I think. Yeah, he did get bored, yeah. So the last, yeah. what, three or four years we've been... On our own, haven't we? As mm. Hedge of Reality, mm. yeah. Right so you actually stretch. had a, a reasonable stretch as a three-piece then, presumably. Yeah. Yeah, early days though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, he, uh, Martin was the main singer as well. He at was, the time, yeah. So. He, was very good he could sing. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he was a church choir boy. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So you were like three vocals yeah, going on yeah, at that time, yeah, were you? Definitely, yeah. yeah. And uh, and so, what's your interest in hedgehogs? Um, we don't have any interest in hedgehogs. That's other than, a shame. I other love than hedgehogs. watching them run across the lawn yeah, at yeah. night and, and poo on the lawn and eat slugs and things. No, other than that. I'm not sure what, what more you want out of a hedgehog, to be honest, than doing all that stuff. Yeah, which is why we don't use this so much on our logo anymore. Because You're right, OK. And we're it, taking that off. I didn't realise we'd taken that I off. I see it has fantastic T-shirts, though. Yeah, are these, are these yeah. available for public purchase? or is no, that, they're uh, not. The, they? These coloured ones aren't, but the, the we have some one. black ones with, yeah, with the white. The originals. Yeah, which actually says, as well as hedgehog reality, hidden amongst it, it says edge of reality. <laughs> yeah. Right, because that was what you were originally yeah. wanting yeah. to call yeah. yourself. Yeah. And there's yeah. too many other bands called that, so we decided on hedgehog reality. So you found something to <laughs> Or sound. I did. This <laughs> wasn't <laughs> keen. No. Well, being a hedgehog fan, that, uh, that appealed to me, wasn't I? You <laughs> like hedgehogs. Yeah, I yeah. do. They're hedgehogs. cute little things, aren't they? That's yeah. certain. As you say, eat yeah. the slugs and something's got to do that because yeah. there are too many yeah, of them exactly. in my garden. Definitely, anyway. definitely. <laughs> so uh, in terms of gigging, you are you gig around Lincolnshire mostly because that's where you uh, you reside. Yeah. Um, how's, how's the Lincolnshire scene at the moment and uh, what, it, what is it you quiet. do? It's yeah, quiet, isn't it? Uh, we tend, we do, we go anywhere to be honest. We played in Brighton we, recently. Oh, OK. Like Hereford, London. London. Yeah. Wow. You just go. Wherever. You want to do it, don't you? So you just go. Yeah, absolutely, and yeah. you did the festival circuit yes. as well. So yes. uh, the yeah. what, uh, what were your what were your big uh, big moments uh, of twenty twenty three? Big moments of this year. This year, oh crikey! <laughs> Can't think. They're all big moments. They are. <laughs> That's a them. get out, they but they matter. are, yeah. aren't they, Terry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they are. Sure, and you do uh, you do a lot of the pub gigs. You do the open mics and things like that as well. No, as we did start off or... doing open mics. That's how we sort of started. But now we've got too much gear. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Of course, we that's can't not just really go gonna... and plug in. It's not know? easy. Not easy no, fit for the no, open mic sort of no, situation, no, is it? No, especially. It isn't. So I was going to ask you about that. You obviously you've uh, since you lost your third member, you've mm. gone with the backing tracks, or did you always have the the backing tracks? Um, well, when we first started, we didn't. But then I bought the drum machine because we'd played this festival, and uh, we were stuck in between two bands that had drums, drums and yeah. were really kind of heavy. So when we come on, we was a little bit. And I thought, a bit yeah. limited, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. But funnily enough, we played some of our original songs amongst their covers, and mm. people were singing along to them. Yeah. And they never even heard them before. No, and they haven't. <laughs> Which is it's quite a tunes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's as I say. Yeah. It's quite a wide range of stuff yeah. you do, and yeah. there's uh, lots yeah. of <laughs> good melody going on there. Yeah. So it's got to be something to latch onto. Although I can see the sense in uh, in having the the drums there as well to just yeah. give it a bit of uh, energy. It feels the sound out. You have a lot of um, very. I mean, the, obviously you think of it as a drum machine, but there's a lot of kind of synth stuff going on. There's like kazoo sound in the last no, song you played for us, or something like that. No, I can't remember a kazoo in there. No, I've got a little synth at home as well. Synth, which there was a 
whole, whole range of sort of sounds. Yeah. But some of them are loops that I've put on the drum machine as well yeah, that I've yeah. worked, you know, in the guitar. You've worked on, yeah. Like Earth, Earth Abides has got some on, obviously. You probably realise that. Yeah, that's mm. it. And that presumably gives a bit, a bit more width yeah, and a bit more yeah, dimension yeah. to the whole thing. And Earth Abides, of course, you you did a pro recording in a recording studio. What, yeah, was, that, yeah. uh, what was that like for you? Mm. It was only a, a small studio. Where it, was that? That was in Spalding. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. You should just mention yep. that that is yep. available on on, on uh, not Spotify on uh, on YouTube, and um, maybe yeah. available other places yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Most Spotify of the streaming well. platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Most, most of the streaming yeah. platforms. Yeah. 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 And the audience can of course find you on Facebook and Instagram, and yeah. where yeah. where else where else might they look for well, uh, YouTube more YouTube music? channel? Yeah, you've got a yeah. YouTube channel. You've got yeah. quite a lot of uh, material um, on there. Yeah. 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 Uh, when we was doing the streaming ourselves as well. Yeah. I was going to say, because like, many of our streamers here uh, are quite new to the world of streaming, but you are veterans of the streaming because you were going <laughs> all through the lockdown period. Well, actually, Tell no, us about we, your streams. We, we started just after lockdown. After lockdown, was it? That's yeah, it. just after lockdown. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. And you got a load of those uh, available on, week, on your YouTube did, channel. I think we did about mm. 70 yeah. in the end every yeah. week. Yeah. 70? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. So over a couple of years. Yes, notes. it was. Yeah, quite a lot, years. wasn't it? It was over, it yeah. was over a year. I think people were more year. interested in the chat between us that was going on. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, so you had a little bit of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they could, yeah, could show yeah. some of those. You Having should, uh, your husband, you see. Could definitely yeah. come and check those out. I'd definitely recommend <laughs> having a look at their YouTube channel and catching some of their uh, streams that are now available if you missed them, uh, missed them when they happened the first time. And uh, what made you decide that streaming was the, uh, was the thing to do? Well, I suppose it, it gave us uh, an Actually, excuse an outlet, to, to rehearse as well. Yeah. Well, you don't need an excuse to rehearse, but it made no. us regularly rehearse. rehearse. You yeah. know, I suppose sometimes if you're in the same place, yeah. then you, yeah. it's, uh, you yeah. have to kind of make an effort to do something. Yeah. yeah. But we've got um, probably too many songs, haven't we? I mean, so we it's never have to... too many. <laughs> 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 so we could we could do like three forty five minute sets we of could originals. Do, yeah. Right. We have I, a few songs work. that have no music. Oh, do they have any music? Yeah, you mean we don't play guitar on yeah, songs with no, no music? Yes, yeah, well, we, we just, do have a backing. We but... just do some daft stuff. Oh, okay, and again, nice. Don't we, Terry? Yeah, yeah you haven't we've... picked any of those for the season. No, no. no. We, <laughs> we've tried to move away from the um, yeah. kind of fun <laughs> stuff. Well, you said you came for you started off in a comedy club. <laughs> yeah, was that, that, that reflected yeah. in that in some way? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's just but, I, but I always think of the mar marmalade, the band of marmalade. Mm. They were they were really good, and then they did Obla Dee, Obla Dar, and then and that never killed them, again. didn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know if it killed them, did it? I suppose it might have done. And then some of your some of your lyrics uh, cover some serious subjects as well as some obviously some yeah. nice uh, romancy songs though, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. So in a light-hearted yeah. way, yeah. by and large, and yeah. you're already <laughs> distorted guitars. And <laughs> <laughs> so, what uh, what inspires you to put pen to paper for uh, for your lyrics? Various things, Various experiences. Things, yeah, things you've heard. You might get a catchphrase, and oh, we can work on that. You know. Right. Uh, okay. You pick something up, yeah, or, or your past experiences. Yeah. And you like the lovey dovey ones. I do you? like lovey dovey ones. Yeah. Who doesn't like lovey dovey? Yeah, ones? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you both write lyrics as well, so you're. Yeah, that's yeah right, in, in this set, Liz is a. I've only got one or two one. in that one set. Yeah. yeah. We've got through two or three on the back burner that we're trying to put music to that I've written, right. which are. Um, Quite difficult, aren't they? That yeah, we haven't we haven't got a, any reggae, so we're, we we were, were trying to at a reggae. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. To yeah, broaden so your musical yeah. yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Basis that yeah, you cover. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, how well, how does the songwriting process uh, tend to go? Do you normally start with lyric and then you find music mm. for it, or do you start with the music where all the backing both, tracks? Both really. Through? Both really, isn't it? I think Earth of Bites was inspired by the drums. You, you, were you tend to write the words. I tend to write the words, yeah. But you were inspired by drums. Mm. Or he might hear something on on the music channels and it sort of clicks, I like the sound of that, and see if we can manipulate it so that we can use a bit of it or yeah. right. change it slightly, yeah. No. I was, I, I was playing, <laughs> playing around with a wet leg riff and that ended up as uh, Road okay. Angel, which we're not yeah. doing tonight either. No, but. we're doing Road Angel. Yeah. <laughs> teaser for yeah, future, teaser, future teaser. gigs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Earth Abides, obviously, you've decided to keep, you're kicking some distortion from that and that's yeah. a bit heavier than your normal. Yeah. It's not or, the, or rather the stuff I've heard today. You might have all sorts of heavy rock in your, no, <laughs> in your back no, pocket for when you need it. That's about it, isn't it? What, uh, what inspired that song and... Uh, and of course, the video that uh, that you've put together—a great video on uh, on YouTube—is oh, you. definitely worth checking thank out. You. Yeah, um, like I say, I, I think it was just the drums. I just I just fancied a bit of kind of heavy metal drumming and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Heavy metal something guitar a bit different. Yeah, yeah. but and then that kind of got me into writing the song. I don't think I 
had intended to write a sci-fi song, but... It just sort of worked out yeah. that way. Right, what's the story yeah. of the song? Um, it's, well, it's this dystopian future where the aristocracy, mm. or aristocracy, okay. as I call uh, it, yeah, aristocracy. is um, kind of ignoring the peasanty. peasanty. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a, a, a parody, I suppose, of current times, but set yeah. in a future where yeah. things are a lot darker. Yeah. Ah, right, OK. Yeah. And what inspired the video? Because it's sort of, it's, it's almost a stream of consciousness sort of um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. fitting in along with the, of the theme of the, of the song. Rather yeah, than... I, I did enjoy doing that, but it's, um, I thought I'd run out of ideas by the, by the time I'd finished it. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and so what about the future? What, have, what, are we, what is in store for Hedgehog Reality in the, uh, in the we, coming to, months? To be honest, we haven't actually got many gigs coming no, up. No, no, we haven't. But we've, we've, um, we've applied for... Yeah. Lots of festivals. Lots, yeah. Mm. But it's just potluck, isn't it? Yeah. So it's sort of to hear that. It covers and... bands, really, isn't it, that get most of the, the work? Yes, yeah. a lot of the slots, yeah. unless it's a specifically yeah. originals yeah. type thing. Yeah. But it's always nice when someone asks us to come along. It's great. And thank you for today. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Great pleasure. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And uh, more, more, uh, more songwriting in the offing to increase your I'm collection sure. of eclectic. I'm sure there and... will be. Yeah. yeah, it keeps you fresh, doesn't it? If you yeah. keep writing more songs, yeah. you, if you keep playing the same ones over and over, yeah. you get a bit stale. Mm. And then when when you introduce a new song, it kind of brightens it up the old well, songs as well. It? Yeah, yeah, and especially it makes if you're you look writing back at your old songs as well, and maybe manipulate them, change them slightly, yeah. or add to them. Oh, okay, yeah. so they sort of develop yeah. over time as yeah. well. And of course, yeah. you're as a songwriting partnership. Yeah. That's a yeah. Has it's a kind of yeah. I suppose, creative social element as well. Yeah. I suppose most of our uh, older songs um, didn't have so much synth and no, they didn't. stuff in. So yeah. we're we're kind of going back to some of them and maybe oh right, bringing them up to the yeah. level yeah. of complexity yeah. of some of the more recent <laughs> yeah. material. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Fantastic. Well. It's been lovely to talk to you both, thank and thank you, you so much for, uh, for, for coming us. in at the last yeah. minute and playing the show for us. Uh, but we're here for the music, so uh, how do you fancy uh, setting, up, setting us up for the, uh, for the next set? Yep. Yeah, that's okay. fine. We're doing yeah, it. We're doing awesome. that. Thank you.